A young mother is attacked, abducted, and murdered by a man family members say was her longtime boyfriend. This morning, they're talking to us about that relationship and why it was about to end. CBS 4's Jessica Vejo reports. Yeah, I feel good, but you know, they still won't bring back my daughter. You know? Still won't bring back my daughter. It's now been 48 hours since Andrea Lloyd was abducted by her 32 year old boyfriend, Xavier Johnson, who is now facing charges for killing Arnold Lloyd's 27 year old daughter. She was my everything. She was my everything. She was my everything. A police source told CBS 4 News that Andrea's remains were found next to Johnson's black pickup truck in a large metal box. Police say Johnson attacked and abducted her early Tuesday from the group home where she worked. The mother of two boys was expecting their third child. Because she was going to leave him. She was tired of him messing around on her and she was like a, uh, you know, a wife, not a girlfriend. If I knew anything was wrong, she wouldn't have been there because I could have put her in the house myself. Her uncle, Manuel Lloyd, a family member who found the boyfriend in this wooded area, says they treated Johnson like family. It hurts me for the fact that sometimes you have loved ones that are so close to you. Hate to get you involved in certain things when it comes to them. On Monday, Andrea Lloyd posted this on her Facebook. It was a post about narcissistic manipulators, which is actually a red flag one may be in an unhealthy or domestic relationship. Normally, the patient will tell me jealousy. Their partner believes they're cheating with somebody else and they're constantly watching over them. The other red flag is the controlling behavior. They tend to tell you, you can't call your family, you can't call your friend, you have to stay home. And they tend to blame others for their problems and, or their feelings. And the, one of the main signs you see is very much cruelty. Dr. Lisette Salem, a psychiatrist in Homestead, says many times a victim of domestic abuse does not know they are in a toxic relationship. When they do know, many are afraid to walk away because they are manipulated by their partner that they are at fault. Please get help. There's a lot of resources out there. You don't have to stay in that toxic relationship. That person could kill you and take your life or your children. And Dr. Lee said, says if you believe you're a victim of a toxic relationship or a domestic abuse case, you can call the National Domestic Hotline at the bottom of our screen. It's 1-800-799-SAFE. In Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 This Morning.